Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on types of data and there'll be a couple of videos on this topic so we'll run through the different types and then we'll do some example questions in a separate video. Uh, but types of data is all about uh, knowing definitions and being able to spot different types of data when you see a question. Uh, so the first class that we'll look at is qualitative data. Now qualitative data is essentially just any form of worded data. So anything that's not number based essentially. Uh, so some examples would include football, team names, uh, names of classmates or friends, um, uh, types of dog or breeds of dog. So anything along those lines where uh, essentially the data isn't numerical. A quick point to note about qualitative data is that it's sometimes called categorical data, but they essentially they're the same thing. So moving on to the second type then, which is quantitative. Uh, so quantitative data is any form of numerical data. And there are two types that we can subdivide quantitative data into. So that's continuous and discrete. Uh, now continuous can take any value. So it could be a decimal, for instance, um, uh, there's no fixed limit. Uh, discrete, on the other hand, uh, can only take fixed values. So height is our first example. Which one would this go into? Well, you could be any height. You could be 150 centimeters tall. You could be 200 centimeters tall. You know, you could be 170.99999 centimeters tall. There are no real limits, so uh, height will go into continuous. And then the next one, number of children. Um, well, you can only have fixed values for the number of children. So, you know, you can have one, two, three, four, so on. Uh, but it can't, you can't have half a child, for instance. So that is discrete data. Uh, the next one, weight, is very much the same as height. You know, you could be any weight. You could be 75 kilos, 14 stone, uh, anything in between. Uh, so therefore, it's continuous. So the next one then is running race times. And again, that's continuous because you could have any time, you know, it could be 20 seconds, uh, it could be 30.5 seconds, it could be a minute, anything in between, anything above. Uh, so it's continuous. And then shoe size is the next one. Now, shoe size increments go up in 0 0.5. So it could be 4.5, 5, 5.5 5 and so on. Uh, but the, the point is the increments are fixed. Uh, so you can only have fixed values. So it's discrete. And the same for number of goals scored. You know, you can't score half a goal in a game of football, for instance. So that's also discrete. So moving on then. So we have two other types of data that we're going to look at, and that's primary and secondary data. Uh, so primary data is anything that you've collected yourself. And secondary data is anything that's been collected by anyone else. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's go through all of these examples and put them into the right category. So online questionnaire results is the first one. Uh, well, you've not collected it yourself and you found it online. Uh, so therefore that is secondary data. Now surveying members of the public. Uh, well, if it's you doing it, then it's primary. So that goes into the primary column. Uh, now measuring the heights of your classmates. Again, uh, if you're the one carrying out the measurements, collecting the data, then it's primary data. Statistics in a newspaper. Well, uh, they're in a newspaper. You're not the one who's done the data gathering. So it's secondary data. And then finally, your friend's measurement of his weekly calorie intake. Now, it doesn't matter that he's your friend. Uh, he's the one who's measure it, making the measurements. Uh, so it's secondary data. So if you want to test yourself on types of data, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and you'll find loads of different questions so you can practice all the different types of data uh, and all the feedback is available instantly. Uh, so you can keep track of your progress and find out which areas you're weak on as well as which areas you're strong on and find out where you can improve. Uh, so if you're interested, then you can take the test by clicking the link below.